Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make a wallet connection through your front end DAP, DeFi or NFT marketplace project. I'll try to not take a lot of your time and I want to apologize for my bad level of English so I can make some mistakes. Today we're going to use, in my opinion, the best solution for this moment because of UE design and simplicity how you can implement that. And also I wanted to mention that all links are going to be in description of this video including repo on GitHub so you don't need to write all manually, you can just git clone or copy paste everything that you need. We'll use Rainbow Kit and Next.js latest version for today, I mean Next.js app router, if I'm not mistaken this is the version 13 and we will definitely face with one big issue that will break our project and I will show you how you can easily solve this problem. So let's go to rainbowkit.com, you can actually see how the website looks like and you can see the demo of connect button, so you can just click it here and you will see the most popular wallets that are people are using so this is rainbow metamask wallet connect or even coinbase wallet you can actually import some more like argent omni or ledger life if you scroll down a bit you can see that you customize a wallet connect button i mean you can change some model styles mode to light or dark uh, change accent color and even change the radius. Also, we will use Wagme and VM for today. In simple words, Wagme are React hooks for Ether, which allow us to uh, get some information from the user, listen for some events from the contract, or even write some transactions. VM is something similar to Wagme, but uh, you can actually go to documentation and see uh, what you can do with uh, VM. You can add chains, switch chains, I don't know, you can go to uh, utilities, uh, you can use format ether, parse ether, sometimes it's really useful for development process. So let's get started. I will create a new folder, I will call it um, rainbow tutorial, let's say like that. I will open it uh, in uh, VS Code, right here. And let's uh, immediately open the terminal and uh, initialize Next.js project. So I will type create next uh, next app at latest inside of this folder. So I just click enter. Uh, would you like to use TypeScript? No, but you can also use TypeScript. Uh, would you like to use ESLint? Yes, Telvin CSS? Yes, or directly? No, App Router? Yes. Um, let's say yes, enter and wait until it's done. All right, it's done, and we actually go to documentation of Rainbow Kit and let's install some dependencies like Wagme, Bean, and Rainbow Kit. So let's just copy, go to our VS Code, paste it here, and also wait until it's done. All right, so let's go to app folder and create a new file. I will call it providers.js. Uh, so what it does is actually uh, creating a configuration file for our Wagme config and rainbow config. And later on, we will paste these providers in our layout file. So we will make a global configuration for all our project. All right, so let's start. Uh, first, I create uh, providers from the capital letter. Inside of this, I will delete so we don't need it and export as default providers. So let's go to layout.js, import providers. I uh, will import from providers.jsx and inside of body, inside of body, uh, we will actually create these providers. So we'll do it like that. Uh, and uh, paste pop children inside of our providers. This is really, really important. Then go to our provider.gsx and on the bottom I will write use client because we're actually gonna use some client stuff. Uh, this is the feature of uh, uh, Next.js 13 version. So uh, we're just importing from Rainbow Kit some stuff that we need. Also, we need to import some wallets from Rainbow Kit. I'll show you. So you can import custom wallets. Uh, what kind of wallets uh, Rainbow Kit uh, provide for us? You can go to uh, documentation 
and go to custom wallet list and here you can find uh, all actually uh, wallets that pro, um, rainbow key provider uh, can give us also let's import some imported stamp from Wagme. this is like a configure chain create config or Wagme config and uh, from Wagme slash chains we need to import chains that you gonna use in your uh, application i mean you uh, deployed your contract for example to mumbai or sepolia and you would like to use only these to change you can simply delete all this stuff and uh, import that so i will choose polygon mumbai and for example sepolia or let's just uh, linear testnet so yeah we actually import that then we need to import the public provider. You can also import different providers. I mean, you can import Alchemy provider, Infura provider, or custom provider if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So you just, uh, I will choose a public provider for this tutorial, but if you need, you can go to documentation and uh, go to Vogme, React, um, uh, providers and here you can find out what providers are supported so it could be provi a public provider json rpc provider or came in fura uh, i would choose uh, for this tutorial public that's actually it uh, the next step is to create a variable i'll call it project id uh, ideally it's uh, to create a dot view file and paste it here uh, with variable next public project id but this is just tutorial uh, i will not do a, a so complicated stuff here so where you can find uh, project id first what you need to do is to go to walletconnect.com and click to this dashboard then you need to sign up or uh, sign in uh, i already done it so i will simply uh, create a new project with this button new project and let's just uh, call it tutorial create and here this is going to be your project id this is also a really important step so let's just paste it here save it i will use later on so the next step is to actually create a configure chains for a future wagme config so we're using configure chains from wagme here we are going to take chains public client websocket public clients and here uh, so the first array is going to be our chain that we are ported. So as we imported uh, Polygon Mumbai, Polygon Linear Testnet, I paste it here, and then you are actually using your provider. It's going to be also, as I mentioned, it's going to be our chemical provider, Infura, or public provider. So the next step is to actually create uh, variable wallets. Uh, we can get it from get default wallets. Uh, here you need to paste app map so you can choose whatever you want i will just say as default then you actually need to use your project id that we already done and change that we are uh, getting from configure chains hook next is actually a variable demo app info we needed to use a rainbow kit provider if i'm not mistaken so uh, you just need to put it here some app name I will choose a default rainbow kit demo and the last two steps that we need to configure is connectors so we are getting it from hook connectors for wallets so basically you are just pasting here some wallet that you already done from get default wallets then you just need to uh, paste some group name for example other so this is like the additional uh wallets uh so that i showed you we're putting them from uh, Rainbow Me, Rainbow Kit Wallets, and you need to configure some uh, stuff for these uh, uh, additional wallets. Uh, as we uh, state at its default, uh, this is going to be Argent Wallet, Trust Wallet, or Ledger Wallet. So, and inside of that, you also need to use your project ID and chains. And the last step is to actually create a bug we can fix. So, we're using create config. How to connect with say true connectors public client and websocket public clients all right so what we're gonna do next so we're just creating our config with providers different right so here we need to paste the children prop uh, i showed you in layout so we need to paste the children here because we're gonna use children and uh, then we need to return a 
deep so um, I will delete it and I will do like that so this is gonna be a bug we can fix right so in this uh, inside of this bug we can fix it's gonna be a rainbow gate provider uh, so and inside we're going to use a children block so uh, looks cool so for Wagme config we need to mention a config so config is going to be equal to config or the name of the variable that you choose for your Wagme config so this is uh, oh shit sorry sorry Wagme config this is going to be and in rainbow key provider we actually need to choose some chains that we're going to use so chains is going to be equal to chains and app info is going to be equal to app info uh, and this is actually it no uh, it's better to say that demo app info. so this this is actually it this is actually it for our providers.jx6 so if we're going to run our application right now so we just uh, type enter and run dev and open it in our browser so here we go so we are facing this problem uh, module do not found can't resolve a fast so how are we gonna solve this so you need to go to the file nextconfig.js and here we need to uh, change some uh, configuration for our next uh, project so in order to actually uh, solve it we need to type reactive uh, mode to true then we need to use a webpack uh, config and this stuff so config dot resolve dot fallback equals to fs false net false tls to false also right it's cool so in this config that external the push we need to paste these stuff and actually we need to just uh, return this config so basically we just type return config and that's actually it so after that we need to run again it. All right, we're done and we see that we've actually solved this problem. Now we see a default uh, page from uh, Next.js. So we will simply delete all of that. But before that, we need to actually go to our um, layout.js and import a really, really important stuff. Also, it uh, close to a rainbow kit so you need to import rainbow kit slash styles.css so let's go to page.js here in return i will delete all in this and it will return a new div so this is it i will add some class name and uh, actually we need to import from rainbow kit Kit. connect button right so let's just do it connect button uh, here we need to paste the connect button and actually if you want to change the model size that I uh, mentioned before you need to go back to providers and here you need to uh, put information about model size to come back and then uh, if we go back to our application, reload that, uh, we actually see that uh, there is a button. There is a button collect wallet. So if we click on it, we will see this pop-up message where we can uh, choose a, a wallet that we would like to use. I will use a MetaMask. So if we just uh, click on MetaMask, I will choose some account. I will choose connect and then you will see this message about your uh, address that uh, you actually connected you can also customize uh, information about the wallet also you can customize information about uh, 
the chin that you actually want right now. So the Polygon Mumbai and we can we can also uh, choose Cipolle or Lumet Girly Testnet. Let's choose to Cipolle, we will have this pop-up message. Uh, click the switch network and we will immediately switch to this network and you see even the balance of Cipolle that I have right now. This is it. Subscribe to my social media and me on LinkedIn. Subscribe to this channel, write a comment, write what tutorial you would like to see next and peace.